Hey everybody, welcome back to Family Meal. Chef Alan. And Chef Ella. We got a great holiday Christmas classic here for you. Smoked leg of lamb. Look at this. Look at a beautiful smoke ring on there. We got studded garlic, rosemary, salt, and pepper. Seven hours, 225 degrees on a smoker. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be awesome. We're ready to go? Woo! Let's cook. All right, everybody, let's talk about our smoked leg of lamb that we're going to be doing. So we have this beautiful boneless leg of lamb that we bought at Costco, all right? Bone is completely pulled out. They even have a netted for us to hold it together, nice and neat. We have whole garlic. We have dry rosemary, coarse black pepper, and kosher salt. Wait until you see how this looks. 225 degrees for seven hours. It's going to be amazing. Let's take a look at what we have here now. We got basically raw garlic slivers. We have our rosemary, kosher salt, coarse black pepper. We kept the net on so it holds it nice and tight. This is gonna be fantastic. We're now going over to the smoker. All right, so now we got this set at 225, okay? We're gonna place this in the middle rack up top, okay? We got a water bath underneath there, kind of just to diffuse it. I'm going to put my, my probe in here for my master built. I already have a preset at 145 degrees. And uh, yeah, we'll see this bad boy in about seven hours. All right, everybody, we are about four and a half, five hours in. Let's take a look at what we got. Look at that. How beautiful does that look? Look at that beautiful studded garlic in there. The rosemary is holding up beautiful. I am so excited to try this. Our internal temperature right now is about 120 degrees. We still have about another two hours to go, but man, this is gonna be fantastic. Look at that, I can't wait. All right, we are seven hours in. Let's see where we're at. I gotta tell you what, that looks absolutely beautiful. We're gonna pull the temperature probe out. We are at exactly 145 degrees. We're gonna take that inside. All right, everybody, so now, Here's the hardest part, is we have to let this rest for another half hour. So we have our Reynolds wrap, we have our kitchen essentials. We're actually gonna clip this off, but not just yet. We're gonna let it rest for a half hour. we we'll cover it nice and loosely. Okay. And then we're gonna come back, we're gonna take the netting off, and then it's tasting time. All right, we're a half hour out, let's See what we got. So again, kitchen essentials, right? Our kitchen shears, okay? We're gonna pull this apart gently, okay? We are gonna lose some of the seasoning, okay? But if we take our time, we should do okay. Okay, we're gonna get this all trimmed down and then we're gonna carve it. got the netting pulled off we had to try a piece of the garlic it was absolutely amazing uh you see all this juice around there ella want to zoom in on that okay save that for your gravy it's going to be amazing all the extra sauce in there and everything like that we're going to save that add that with a little beef stock or some chicken stock it's going to be a great great finishing product for your holiday meal all right, here goes a moment of truth. We're gonna cut into this bad boy. Remember, 225 degrees, seven hours. Let's see where we're at. Oh, wow. Look at that, Ella, get a zoom on that. Look at that beautiful smoke ring we have on there. Guys, this is absolutely beautiful. You could use this as your main course, your main protein for your Christmas dinner. You could slice this up cold for sandwiches. I mean, just 
The list is endless of what you could do with this. We're about to do our tasting. All right, let's review before we do our tasting. 225 degrees, a mixture of mesquite wood and post oak wood. Ella, ready to eat? Yeah. All right, let's try it. Look at that beautiful smoke ring on there. Nice, beautiful color. This is gonna be incredible. I can't wait. Let's try it. Oh man. Guys, you wanna do a great Christmas dinner? This will blow people out of the water. Ella, what do you think? It's really tender and it's like melts in your mouth and it's like really good with all the flavors. But you know, I don't think it, it tastes over overwhelming. It doesn't taste too garlicky or too, mm -hmm. just the seasoning on there is absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Ella, what should they do next? Subscribe, like this video, share it to your friends, and comment on this video on what you want to say next. All right, and Merry Christmas to you guys.